Hello Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading with me Cindy. This is the second time I'm actually doing this, you won't see the first one. I was in the middle of doing your reading, your ancestral reading of all things, and the phone rang, like the house phone rang, my house phone doesn't ring that often. The only time it rings it's for my son, and he's not home, he's at school, so I'm like what the hell. So I thought, yeah. And then I started hearing the answer machine. I think it's a scam. I'm telling you that now. I'm putting it out there before you're reading. If anyone else is getting this, if you do work for the government of Canada, for the police department, anything, I think there's a scam going on and it's trying to get people's social insurance numbers. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And yeah, so maybe look into that. And if you are working for the government, can you be a little bit more legit when you call me? It did not sound legit when you tell me your name and it's a very um a very anglicized name from someone who does not sound it kind of sounds like they're probably from Pakistan or India anyway it was like really crazy I was just in such a rhythm and I thought damn they've been leaving messages on my machine saying somebody has done something to your social insurance number. It's very far from like, we're going to have to um, cancel your social insurance number. And I'm like, did they really do that? I don't understand. Anyways, what do you do anyways? I work for myself. Why do I need my SIM number? Okay, so we're doing, I'm getting all my Gemini rising is all upset over this guy. And he's trying to tell me some sort of case number or something in his badge number and everything. And I can hear like probably 40 other people that sound like him <laughs> saying stuff in the background. I'm like, I cannot understand what you're saying. I'm thinking if you were really an officer for the government of Canada looking into fraudulent SIM card applications, or I don't know, are you really in a room with like 50 other people doing that? Wouldn't you maybe have like an office or something? I don't know. <laughs> we're going to find out. What ancestors coming forward to speak to you? I'm going to get that right now. There is an extended at the end of this reading. The link is at the top of the description if you're so drawn to it. I will be getting um, a word of encouragement from my Journey of Love Oracle deck from your ancestors to you. And we will look into further information. Oh, the Page of Wands and the Knight of Swords has what has come out. Ooh, masculine. This has been an interesting thing this week. So, and everyone has been following suit except Taurus. Now I'm going to say, let's all be jealous of Taurus because they didn't get like an ancestor. They got an archangel came through. It was really amazing. And it makes sense now that I look back on it. They had the masculine and the feminine energy combined. It was like really a balanced yin-yang energy. This is um really, it's all masculine energy. So this is some someone... Um, in your lineage and it may be younger they may have been younger than you or very free spirit very young at heart I'm getting this person may be a musician or may have been a mus musician they may have played some sort of instrument or sang or written poetry this person was reckless there were times where this person was reckless. I do want to say they might have even met their demise through some sort of reckless action or choice that they made. This is a male figure. It's coming through as a male figure. This person would have been recognized as male, as masculine, as a young man. I'm hearing as a young man. I feel like this person may have only lived to be about I want to say they're late 20s to mid 30s, maybe late 30s, but it feels pretty young. This energy feels really, really young. It's at the bottom. The Knight of Pentacles. Oh, something. Wow. What's really interesting is the Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom. For what we're trying to get through here and then below that is the world like a major ending i feel like this person had 
like for most aspects of their life they may have been viewed as sort of reckless i think it, this is really funny because i had said that i it felt like that they had been reckless and that led to their demise i sort of feel like something happened to them and they decided to start pulling back and taking more time and somehow that ended up in their demise it was their demise This, I mean, this could be someone that you sort of know of in your family too, but maybe you never met them because this was young. Like if this was someone, like if this was a great grandfather or an uncle, you probably wouldn't have known them if they passed away in their 20s or, you know, early to mid 30s. So I'm going to pull cards from the Energy Oracle deck to get more information about this person's life. Something significant about their life that may help Gemini understand who they are or why they're here to bring a message to them. Wow. Angel of love and man holding the heart is at the bottom. That's really interesting. There is a, what, if anything, I want to say there is a lot of love, like all of a sudden coming through in this message to you. There's a lot of love, a lot of feeling, a lot of emotion. I feel a very intimate connection between you and this person. Oh my gosh. Wow, for some of you. I'm getting the message that this person, if things had played out differently, this person would have been like a counterpart to you. And you can see that right now. Woman holding the coin and man holding the coin. Wow, that kind of makes sense. So, like I said, this is the second time I tried to do this reading because the first time I got really, really interrupted by, by a fraudulent phone call. It very, feels very fraudulent. Let's see where it goes. Um, and then patience. Now, when I was doing that reading, the energy within it at first was kind of confusing because it was your energy. And I was trying to determine in that reading, things, everything happens for a reason. I feel like I started that reading to give me some sort of message about the real actual reading that was going to take place. The energy feels very different, almost as if I somehow, I, I have felt anxious about the phone call. I don't know. Like I felt something was coming in about that, but it, I, it felt like there was two Geminis in that reading. I, it's not necessarily that this person was also a Gemini, but I feel like this person, some opportunity here was missed is really what I'm getting. Like something was missed here. Excuse me. Um, the best way to say it, and it's I'm having difficulty articulating it because I don't think that anyone really passes, like passes on when they were supposed to be here. I don't. Maybe it happens, and maybe it happens. I'm feeling like this person is kind of coming through to communicate that they were meant to be someone that loved you in this lifetime, and they didn't get to. They didn't get to. It was stolen. Something happened or they changed their path. Because this is how I feel like the person was. Typically, they were like this. They were really full of life and, you know, always going out and trying new things. And, you know, sometimes it was reckless. Could get them hurt. Could get them in a little bit of trouble. And something happened and made them pull back. Made them kind of change the way they approached things. And somehow that ended up in their demise. This is really, I, I don't, the, it feels like, almost like the potential of a lover that never got to be, is what that feels like. Almost as if the potential of a lover that never got to be. Let's pull some clarifiers out. These are some 
surprising me how these are going this week. Like they're really, they're, each one is so different. I Like I didn't see this coming. But also I wanna say like, don't lose hope. There's so many soulmates. And I really don't feel like people pass without a reason. This person perhaps is more intended to guide you through the spirit realms in this lifetime than in the physical. I want to know, I want to see if I can get a little more information about what ended here with this. What was this ending? How did this end? with the world card and the knight of pentacles if the six of swords and the empress they were trying and it's exactly it like trying to shift their energy trying to go from the knight of swords to the knight of pentacles like it, right, trying to get to a better place because maybe they were finding failure by being like overly reckless or charging towards things before really thinking it out they were trying to do, I feel as if this person was actually sacrificing a bit of themselves for someone else. Now, why is this coming through to you, right? Like, why is this coming through to you as a message? There's obviously some sort of lesson in what they went through for you. Either something you're going through now, something that you've gone through or will be going through. So woman holding a coin, Woman holding a coin. Man holding a coin. Man holding a coin. Patience. Oh, wow. I think I know why they're coming through. Three of Wands is at the bottom. Three of Wands is at the bottom. Like anticipating something. So maybe you've always anticipated this person somehow. I'm getting, so I should have said at the beginning, there's time for I really need to take time in these readings because I get messages coming in and I'm kind of trying to articulate them and sometimes it's a lot of information at once. But with the two of wands and the three of pentacles, with the woman holding the coin, I'm feeling like the man holding the coin is this energy. Because there's two masculines coming out here. The page, this page of wands and this knight of swords are both some sort of masculine energy. Knowing that there's something out there for you with the Two of Wands, wanting to go and find. I kind of feel like wanting to go and find this person. This almost feels like a lost and found. Because one of the other messages that I'm getting here with this is it's also the deeper part of someone who is still here. It's the deeper part of someone who is still here. Something has changed for the, and maybe, like I'm seeing this, I'm, I'm feeling like this person has ended, but maybe it's who they were, how they saw themselves, like their whole life. Something has really ended here for this person. The king of, the man holding the coin is the king of pentacles and the justice card. Okay, so this reading is feeling more and more like someone that you've been waiting to meet. Someone that you've been waiting to connect with and their deeper self is coming through in this reading.
the Patience card, the Four of Pentacles, and the Tower moment. Whatever, because there's, I do feel what I'm doing is I'm opening up to a few multiple energies coming through here. There's two messages that I'm getting, so I'm going to vocalize them. The first one is still that someone has passed on before you got to meet them. This, they are working to bring you towards some sort of counterpart. I'm not quite sure, I'm getting a sort of like, I don't know if mixed messages is right, but sort of jumbled messages about either this person was still kind of meant the greater plan was meant to be here in this lifetime and perhaps serving there is a soulmate connection but serving their connection with you by bringing you into alignment with someone that you're really meant to create something with so this could have been a completely platonic platonic connection that you would have had with this person sorry i had to put my comforter back to dry it wasn't fully lily puked on my bed today um so this they may i'm feeling like they were likely a more of a platonic connection for you but something happened to this person and you never met them i'm feeling that they passed away at a younger age and you didn't get to meet them. They're still working on aligning you with this connection. So let's just say if they were here in this lifetime now physically, um, they may have had a friend or known someone who would have ended up being your, if it's a romantic, well, there's a lot of, like there's a lot of love here. Whatever, whatever the end of the story is there's a lot of love there's like the intention here is based on love is really based on love this is a a very stable connection to have like a male and female woman holding a coin man holding a coin it's very stable very prosperous connection and with the man holding the coin and the king of coins and the justice card I, like, doesn't this King of Pentacles, like, look bored to death? Like, tired of waiting? Like, when? So, it's a little, this is what I'm getting at. I'm really uh, pulling this all in. Is this person, things would have happened faster. You would have met this person faster. There would have been less blocks. Um, less difficulty bringing you together with this other i want to call it a soulmate connection but now this individual works more well through obviously through the spirit realm and through energy continuing to bring you together because that was part of i mean it's not the only thing they're doing right <laughs> probably doing other stuff too but yeah and then this i find it's interesting because the feminine in this, her head is down in both ones, like kind of like that feeling of, yeah, you know, looking, waiting for something, but it's not there. And the three of pentacles is usually there's other people here because you're collaborating with them, but there's no one else there. Like two individuals, you and someone else are meant to come together in this lifetime. And that has been delayed or there's been some sort of obstacles that have fallen into place because this individual who is no longer living here, they were sort of meant to be living here to kind of help this happen. So with the patience and the four pentacles and the tower, I feel like it's getting close to happening. I was say, I feel like it's getting close to happening. Now I'm supposed to pull out tarot cards. because This is not supposed to be, this is supposed to be the message here. She's out of these tarot cards. So what is the final message? Like the full-on message from this guy. The full message from this ancestor. It could have even been like a sibling. It could have been an older sibling or a cousin. And they had a friend. Or they would have worked with someone. Again, the temperance card has come out. The 
bottom is the High Priestess, the Judgment card, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, see? The High Priestess. This is an energy that's working um, outside of the realms here. To give a rebirth into something that feels... Like, this may even feel like it's lost, or it's impossible to reach, or you can't get to it, or you're never going to meet the right person. It does feel like things are coming into correction. So, Temperance, the Eight of Swords, the Fool, the Justice card, and then the Sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't even need to clarify these. Because Temperance is where we're going here, right? Temperance is the last card that, or I, I like to see that as Temperance, is Patience card. Into the Eight of Swords, there's um, some sort of feeling of entrapment, or not being able to move forward, or not being able to move towards something. There's something that's supposed to be here, is really what I'm getting for you, is the ultimate message. There is something or someone who is supposed to be here, but isn't to make this happen, it's still going to happen. Whether it's a meeting, it's coming together with someone, this is still going to happen. Because now, the only thing that is required of you for this to happen is I feel like when it feels right to jump from here to here, to jump from here to here, it's almost like this individual, this guide, is working their hardest to create a situation, a scenario, an instant in time where it's all lined up. And you're going to feel it. You're going to feel to move towards it. Trust your gut. Trust your gut and release yourself. And go like this is a big leap. But there was a lot of work putting this pool of magic together here and getting this um, beautiful giant piece of amethyst into your hand. Like, I'm just hearing that. Like, this was a lot of work on our end. <laughs> the spirit realm, like, this was a lot of work. This is the only thing. I feel like this is the only thing. It's still a big thing, though, because this is really feeling like you can't move towards something. You just can't do it. It's not possible. It's not allowed. Whatever is playing out in your mind. And to do it. And to do it. And then once that happens, then the balance comes back. There is the balance and the happiness, the fulfillment. This is like almost what the universe is trying to create. What this guide is, this is really an interesting reading. It took me a bit to pull this in, but that's what this is. There is a missing piece to a puzzle and it is an energetic physical component to this person or individual being here in your life. And it's not so easy for, for them to help guide you towards this because they are not in the physical. So they're having to almost do what they can on an energetic level that causes physical things to change and shift and move and come into alignment. Well, there you go. I don't I don't think there's anything else to ask. That was a that, I'm gonna say that was a hard one. That was a hard one to pull in, but it's a really fascinating one. I'll go back and I'll go watch that one. I gotta say, like these every one of these messages have been so unique and unusual. They're quite fascinating. So oh I almost forgot! I can't forget this part. I was like, I know there's something else to do. So this is my new favorite little book. It's just to bring the gentleness of love and light towards each of you. Um, these beautiful little messages from Mr. Rogers, um, my new book. So I'm just going to randomly flip and I'm going to pick something. Oh my gosh, I didn't get, I just got this. That's your message, understanding love. Well, that's it. I, f I feel like that's it. 
That's your message. Look at that. Angel of love. Man holding the heart. That's the journey here. You know, I said, I, I really don't feel like someone passes that shouldn't have at a certain time. Sometimes I wonder if the universe plays things out, you know. I always picture us all up in, in uh, the ethereal, getting ready for our lifetime. We're writing soul contracts with each other. Okay, this is the part I'm going to play for you. I'm going to trigger you here. You're going to trigger me there. Blah, 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 blah. Spirit's up there going, <laughs> one of you is coming back before you know it. But let's see how you negotiate this. I don't know, right? Like, there's definitely some sort of challenge here. <laughs> Understanding love. I just opened the, the, I thought, okay, well, let's see the next page for you. Page 51. Understanding love is one of the hardest things in the world. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> I'm going to leave you. I'm going to go do the extended, guys. So, wow, that was a really fascinating read. And in the extended, I'm um, going to find out what is this guy trying to guide you towards? Um, why? <laughs> what is the lesson in this? I might ask the universe because I think there's something playing in the background that even your guide is not fully aware of. And then what is the next step moving forward for you? I thought I did pull a lot of that out already. I probably shot myself in the foot with but yeah, maybe I'll see you there. Maybe I won't. If not, I do hope to see you here next week. Until then, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.